Hi there crafters, it's Sheila with SheilaStamps.net and today we are making this sweet little Easter card. Let's get started. Okay, so I have a piece of very vanilla and that's on my Stamparatus. And this is cut at three by three and three quarters. And then I have the first bunny from Sweet Little Something. And then you want to ink that up in the darkest color. So I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. And it's okay if you get it right there because it won't come off. So I'm just going to press down and make sure that the color transfers onto the paper, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around, and I'm going to get the second bunny, which is this one. And I'm going to line that up. Just like that. And next I'm going to get the medium color, which is Blushing Bride. And I'm going to put this guy right back. And I have him right here in this right hand corner just in case he pops up. So I'm going to ink that up. And this is the first time I'm using the stamp set and my Stamparatus guys, so please bear with me. And then now, I'm going to go ahead and pull these guys off. And I'm going to get like the solid bunny. And I'm going to use the lightest one for that. Just going to pick that up. <clears throat> And I'm using a pink pirouette. All right, so there's our little bunny. Let me go ahead and put the Stamparatus aside. And I'm going to get the Happy Easter. And then I'm just going to mount it on block B. And I'm going to use the Flurry Flamingo for that. And I'm just going to put it right here at the bottom. So I have a piece of Blushing Bride, and this measures three and a quarter by three and three quarters. I'm just going to go ahead and put some snail adhesive down on this. Alright, and then my card base is very vanilla thick and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna get my bone folder. Make sure that crease is good. And then I have a piece of a bundle of love, and this is cut at 
four by five and a quarter. And this is gonna be Zeta's Easter card in her Easter basket, so shh, don't tell anybody. All right, and then I'm just gonna come in with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we'll rip the backs off. And we will just center it there. All right, so there you have it, a quick and simple Easter card. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you need any of the supplies, they're in the YouTube description below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.